Welcome back to The Breakdown. Today we're gonna to be taking a look at a tripod mount here for your phone. This is a great little tripod that has adjustable legs allow you wrap around things and get maybe good quality videos, uh, photos, and more for TikTok, YouTube, Instagram, and a whole lot of other places. Now this is kind of an entry level device. We're gonna break down the pros and cons of it, let you know everything you need to know about it, and a whole lot more to decide if this is what you want for you, or maybe you have a kid who's getting into all that. You wanted to get them something for Christmas, birthday, whatever it may be. Now we're gonna look at the pros and cons of it. A few disclaimers, I did buy this with my own money, it was not a review unit. Pricing on these changes so rapidly, I hate to give you a price and have it be wrong. I'll put a link to it on Amazon in the show notes and in the first pinned comment. You can find it down there to decide this is the right device for you. And lastly, before we get into the full review, could you help me grow this channel? Could you help me support my family? All you have to do is hit that thumbs up or hit that subscribe button, do one or both lets YouTube know you enjoy what they do here. So YouTube recommends our videos to more people, helping us grow this channel. We would really appreciate your support. So with that said, let's dive into it. Take a look at this little tripod. Now, a few things are off the bat. It is a standard um, full mount base here. So you can unscrew this here and attach a DSLR even directly to it or whatever standard tripod adapters here. This does come one for a, uh, one for a GoPro. So the mount for a GoPro is a little different. You can use it there. Now, pretty standard, just a big rubber grasp here for your phone. Did successfully hold my Pixel 7 Pro, Pixel 6 Pro with a large case. Very easy to use. Not big enough for a tablet, but perfect for a phone. Does have a dial here, allow you to adjust this, move it around, get it wherever you want, and then lock it in place. And then you do have the legs here. Now, I really do like a few things about this. These are foam legs, focus, there we go, that allow you to adjust them around, maybe you have a chair back, maybe you're out, on, you wanna wrap this around a pole, a tree. I love all this is foam, so you don't damage whatever it is that you're working with with it. So I really do like that they did that feature there, here with it. Now overall, it's all plastic. It's a plastic base, it's a plastic stand, it's a plastic mount here. It's okay, it's entry level. Let's show you everything that came with it, give you an idea what you should expect with this. Like I said, this is entry level. And for entry level, it's really good. It's plastic, which it makes it light. If you're throwing this in a backpack for a bunch of uh, gear you may be hauling with you, this is a nice little device to um, take with you to be able to review products, shoot videos, um, make TikToks, take photos, and more on the go. Um, so keep that in mind. Though the plastic is a slight shortcoming, I do wish it had some metal maybe around the base, but overall, it's just fine. Now, a few additional things that came with this, like I said, it did come with the mount for a GoPro. It also came with a little remote photo taker. So you get yourself all set up, you go out there, ready to take a photo, you can use this little clicker that's Bluetooth here to um, press a button and take a photo. Now, interesting to have a button on the top for iOS, a button on the bottom for Android. I kind of wish, okay, I get it. Slightly different standards, slightly different system there. Kind of wish it was just one that triggered both that's typically what it is, is one button sends out both an iOS and a Android signal to say, hey, take that picture. Eh, not a big deal. There is a replaceable battery in this. It's not rechargeable. It's just a little, one of those little round, what we used to call watch batteries. Very um, common. You can buy them on Amazon for replacements. And there's a little switch on the side to turn it on and off so you don't drain the battery. Overall, it's nice. I like the features. I like the ability. Like I said, entry level, everything's plastic. Everything is good quality, but definitely not as um, ad adjustable, not as sturdy as considerably more expensive devices, but you're not paying that more expensive price. So keep that in mind. Overall, for what it is, as an entry level device, that's great for kids or new YouTubers who wanna try this out. Once you get some success, once you start earning some money, maybe say, hey, then I'll go buy something a lot more expensive to up my game a little bit. This is perfect for that. So I'll put a link to it in the show notes down below and in the first pinned comment. You can find it on Amazon there. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up. It really does help YouTube because it lets YouTube know you enjoy what we do here so YouTube can recommend our videos to more people. So until next time, take care, be safe. We'll be back again real soon.